Alright everyone, Cody here with another exciting video. See last night I put some pieces of dry ice inside this tube and they've completely evaporated. It feels gaseous in there so I didn't put enough in there to uh, leave me with a liquid CO2 inside this chamber which should be possible. But the idea was that I'd be able to store CO2 so that I can release it off and turn it into dry ice whenever I'd like. So if I can do that and this ought to be a fairly useful thing for me so I don't have to you know go to the store and buy dry ice and only be able to do it Monday through Friday and uh, <laughs> the nearest place that I can get dry ice is quite far from here so if I have a like, portable dry ice container that would be very useful for me I know I could probably do this with a fire extinguisher but uh, how about I make my own well let's see if it works Let's uh, open her up, let the uh, gas expand and see if it'll uh, turn into ice. That looks like dry ice to me. Alright, there's all of the CO2 released, and that's cold. See that? Let's see how much ice I made. That looks awesome. Look at that. Oh damn, it's cold. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that though. I have dry ice. method works. See that? All I gotta do is just compress it into like a little block and I'll have like a little bit of dry ice for some smaller experiments. Certainly is cold. <laughs> I'm gonna go show this to my mom. I hope it's not a pipe bomb too. Anyway, so I got some dry ice. Cram it in there. Yep, got her just about full. Got one little piece here. Just put that in there. Ouch, it bit me. Okay. Get rid of the Teflon bits. Let's see if I can uh, get it to seal. Tighten it up. Damn, that metal's cold. <laughs> Ooh. I... Hey, cows. I literally cannot touch this metal without freezing my hand to it. And, uh... Before the ice thaws out too much, it's building pressure in there. I'm not too worried at the moment. But... I want to check it in the cow trough to see if it's leaking. So let's just drop it in the water real quick. Okay. Yeah, there's a few bubbles. I'll have to tighten it up a little bit more. But, okay, let's get it out of that water. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's actually easier to touch touch now, because it's got an insulating layer of ice. It's got like a quarter inch of ice stuck to it. <laughs> I think the CO2 inside is now liquefied, so it's boiling. i got to be quick. need to tighten this up just a little bit more so I'm going to set it in this tire and I'm going to go grab a pipe wrench okay so I tightened it up a little bit looks like it's not leaking see it's still got ice on there ice is actually it's breaking off in flakes you see yeah anyway I'm going to leave it right there get that out of the way I'm going to leave it right there to warm up the rest of the way and if it explodes It'll do so in the back of a dump truck. Okay, there we have it. This is the third time I filled it. The uh, second time I filled it is the one that you just saw that I had emptied out and made the dry ice with. 
each time I put a little bit more dry ice in here and uh, I'm fairly confident it's not going to explode. This time I put a little bit more than I did last time. Got about a quarter pound of dry ice inside of here. But I got my own CO2 canister, see that? I can let off a little bit of gas, see this? Yep, yeah, I can seal it. Let off more if I want. Make everything frosty. I can seal it. And that will be sealed. I can keep that sealed for a couple of weeks. But what I want this for, as you see, this fitting here, I could actually put a copper tube on the end of this. That means that I could pressurize anything I want, including a rocket engine. Yep, this is a part of my rocket. It's kind of a little bit heavy to be flying, but this is my new pressurizing chamber. Isn't that cool? Alright, so uh, that's all for now. Let me let off a little bit more of this, and then I'll see you next time. <laughs> that's so cool. And I can make dry ice.